Hey guys, my name is X Factor. I hope you're having a great day. And as promised, we're slowly ramping up the Battlefield 5 footage. But just so you know, the last 10 days, I've been in a deep, dark place called Internet Hell. Very special. And most of you that have been following me for years know that no matter what I do, I come across these bad internet problems. Well, we've been disconnecting almost every round and legging up multiple times in a given round where you just wonder if you're going to crash, get killed, put your bomber into something, or just run off the map or out of bounds and die anyway. So it's been really hard to record full rounds, but we actually got one in. And we didn't crash or lag out. So today, this is my first tips and tricks video for Battlefield 5. Now, the thing to know about Battlefield 5 is it is more tactical than any other Battlefield that's been brought forth in the franchise. And there are several reasons for this. Number one, the gunplay has been much improved. Number two, the visibility, whether it's weather-based or not, you can see we're in a bit of the fog, has been greatly reduced. Of course, if there's something of motion, you can easily see it. But it's a stationary target or people who are backpedal prone or prone which are extremely difficult to see unless they're a sniper looking at you with their optic, which is giving off sniper glint. Now, there is a lot less 3D spotting in this game, which is awesome, but there are classes that can 3D spot. If you have a support weapon, depending on what you do in your upgrade tree, when you're suppressing uh, enemies, and that right there is a perfect example, somebody got spotted. And you can see it's not quite the same as it pulsates. Then, of course, if a flare goes up in the air or a plane flies overhead and drops flares, people will be on the minimap and sometimes spotted depending on what else is going on. But spotting has been greatly reduced, which allows you to do things like this. Set up tactical crossfire angles. Most of you know that my play style is play the flipping objective. Live, eat, breathe on that objective space, no matter what the game mode. But I noticed in this specific round, our team was absolutely clumping up in the middle, which is okay because the objectives are there, but they kept getting pushed back. A tank would roll, and because my entire team was pretty much in front of them in their field of view, they are just getting outshot and outgunned. So because of all these changes in Battlefield 5, you were able to do stuff like this and play more of a static position. This is something I never would have thought of doing in a previous Battlefield franchise. Yes, we'd flank all the time, but we'd flank and push. Now you can flank and set up. For those wondering, I'm using the Sal Blaster 1916, AKA Settle Stotter 1916, and it is an assault class weapon, extremely, extremely accurate because I've set mine up to be full accuracy bonus while stopping and popping. Now, at most ranges, it's a headshot, body shot, or body shot, headshot, which will take down an enemy. If you see something yellow flash up, that's a headshot. But at max range, it's two headshots or two body shots in a single headshot. And it is quite spammable. Yes, I can still strafe while ADSing and be somewhat accurate at that range, but anything beyond, as you see another two tap dirt now, is definitely stop and pop and shoot. Whether you take a couple shots or not, then strafe again, that's your decision. And here's something that DICE has actually talked about in the last couple days, is the audio cues. They know there is a problem with enemy footsteps. They know sometimes you can't hear them, sometimes friendlies are louder, and a bunch of other problems with it. So look for a patch to come down the pipeline, hopefully soon, to remedy that situation. Because no one should be really sneaking up at you and you not have a clue. So the Settle Stotter is an absolute wonderful weapon as we slowly creep up to the objective. And it is quite spammable. So I did increase the rate of fire on it, but I increased the accuracy while stationary. You can increase the accuracy while mobile, but that really isn't my play style. So we push closer, and you can see we're trying to feel out the hit marker. Now, one thing I'll do more than I've ever done in the Battlefield franchise is go prone. It's something you used to do just to avoid grenade spam. But that's really not a problem in Battlefield 5, unless you're kind of in a hot zone like this and the grenades are gonna pop. But the backwards prone where your legs stick out, number one, it looks similar to a down body. People will just simply pass over you or not shoot you. Number two, it gives you a great field of view without the profile above the cover. So as long as somebody has my back, I really don't have to worry about being shot. And it's enough to take away that nasty little angle on the street. Not to mention I'm very close to supply crates. Make sure these are built. If you don't know if your crates are available or around, hit T. 
The areas in which they'll be able to be built on will show up on your mini map and they'll be highlighted on your screen and you'll be able to pop those out, which is huge because if the medics aren't playing their class properly, I just got a med pack there, so one most certainly is. You definitely need the med loving early and often. So holding this line by the objective, this is the sweet spot for the cell blaster. Up close, yes, it's great if you don't miss a shot, but with flinch and screen shake and everything going on and the hip fire not being the greatest, that's what you give up. So it's very important to stop, pop, and pace your shots properly. There you see a little straight because I'm trying to straight behind cover. Not because I wanted to, but because I have to. That's when you'll often see me strafe with the Sal Blaster. And there's actually three there. Two to the left and one behind the car. Didn't really check it out well enough before I let my heel kick. Tried to release to let my medic know that's a bad spot for him. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the first Battlefield 5 Tips and Tricks video. The whole point... Don't be afraid, afraid to set up a flank and be static with it. Yeah, set up crossfire lanes, mow down their big pushes, pick their medics. Make sure you prioritize that because medics are the ones with the speedy revive. They can keep things going. If you keep the medics down, then everybody else going to revive, it's just easy peasy. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out, and we'll see you guys soon.